subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for ServiceNow Certified Application Specialist, Performance Analytics. So let's get started. Question number 1, what do you understand by performance analytics? Your answer is, Performance analytics allows businesses to set, track, and analyze development upon goals. The products help you progress performance and accelerate frequent service growth by 1. Tracking critical process metrics and trends. 2. Measuring process health and behavior against organizational targets. 3. Identifying process patterns and potential bottlenecks before they occur. 4. Continually visualizing the health of processes through both historical, and real-time statistics in role-based dashboards, so you and your business can make informed decisions. Question number 2, what is automation discovery? Your answer is, automation discovery recognizes opportunities from data, that are automated by ServiceNow products like Virtual Agent, and Predictive Intelligence. Moreover, the app helps you find candidates for automation that can afford to deflections, and improve incident resolution times. Question number 3, what do you understand by spotlight? Your answer is, a spotlight illuminates records that otherwise you might overlook due to evaluating only one aspect of given records. Moreover, spotlight helps you focus on items based on business needs. Question number 4, what is natural language understanding? Your answer is, natural language understanding is a service that allows the system to understand and respond to human expressed intent by providing an NLU model builder and an NLU inference service. You may assist the system in evaluating word meanings and situations so it can infer user or system behaviors by providing natural language examples. Question number five, what is the use of predictive intelligence? Your answer is, Predictive intelligence utilizes machine learning to reduce triage and categorization time, contributing to higher customer contentment. To bring service owners and agents to quicker resolutions, pinpoint issues and give actionable information. Question number 6, explain the time card management feature. Your answer is, time card users, such as task assignees, may report and manage their time for a given tasks using the time card management function. Question number 7. List the tasks performed by time card approvers. Your answer is 1. Review and approve or reject the time cards in a submitted timesheet. 2. Recall the approved timesheets or time cards to return them to the users for corrections. 3. Use dashboards to view reports of time card and timesheet exceptions, and categorize time reported by the users. Question number 8 Explain the timesheet policies. Your answer is, timesheet regulations are the rules that must be followed while filling out a timesheet, or a time card. Furthermore, timesheet regulations allow you to set an acceptable approval procedure for both project, and non-project jobs. Question number 9, list the applications of timesheets. Your answer is, with timesheets. 1. Time card users can submit all the time for their work week in a single step by using a timesheet. Two. Time card approvers can approve all the time cards in a timesheet for a user. 3. Track the activities of a timesheet, such as who submitted or approved a timesheet, in the activities section on the timesheet form. Question number 10 What are time cards? Your answer is Time cards are used to record the time worked on a task by a task assignee. Moreover, the time card management feature works with the task table to record time worked on projects, incidents problems, and change requests. Question number 11, what is a user persona? Your answer is, user personas are fictional but realistic characters that represent an entire group, or audience with a set of traits and characteristics that unite them. User personas are role-based and focused on responsibilities. Moreover, these personas recognize who your users are, what behavior patterns they currently exhibit, their needs and goals and the issues or pain points they currently face within a given context. Question number 12, what are the benefits of user personas? Your answer is, 1. The ability to develop a deeper understanding of users' current processes and needs. 2. 
Guidance for creating features that help users achieve their desired outcomes. 3. Guidance for prioritizing to invest time and resources. 4. Data to drive alignment across the organization, and rally other teams around a user-centric vision. Question number 13. What is the use of scripts? Your answer is. Scripts are used to extend your instance beyond standard configurations. Moreover, with scripts, you may automate processes, add functionality, integrate your instance with an outside application and more. Question number 14. What is Cloud Orchestration Trail? Your answer is. All cloud resource activity on the instance is logged in the Cloud Orchestration Trail. The Cloud Orchestration Trail is also used to track down issues with cloud resources, such as credential failures during discovery or API execution errors. Question number 15. Explain Cloud Orchestrations? Your answer is. Cloud orchestrations are the orders that your situation processed for each attempted operation on a stack. Moreover, cloud orchestration records to view status messages for operations that are run on cloud resources, and for details about each API step. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.